Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt with The Busted Couch, and I'm here to bring you my initial impressions of the user interface for the Xbox One. The system came out on Friday, that being November 22nd, and I was lucky enough to pick one up. You've probably seen my unboxing video already, and if you haven't, you can go check that out and see the contents of the box. I'll provide a link for that in the video, uh, either as an annotation right now or at the end of the video. Uh, let's get started. Let's take uh, let's take a look around. So I've created like a random account just so that we can take a look around here. So on the side, you can see that there is Skydive, which I'm I believe is their cloud service. Uh, then there's the TV, there's Skype, Xbox Video, and Xbox Music. Um, oh. So anyway, it thinks that I want to use a code, and I don't. Xbox, stop listening. Go home. Xbox, go home. Okay, there we go. I had to mute my speakers, or else this my mic is probably going to catch it, but... Anyway, let's take a look around. So I'm going to try and voice voice uh, avoid voice commands um, for now, anyway. So we can see this stuff here. Actually, um, another voice command. You know what? Let's just let's go through the voice commands for now. Um, Xbox. So that brings up this stuff here. Um, so you have some commands here, but you can go to more shortcuts more shortcuts no that's wrong you're you're it actually works a lot better than this usually xbox more shortcuts see there we go uh and then you can go to well if you say go to and then you say an app afterwards then you go somewhere um you can i can just say go back Xbox, go back. See? Um, I can also say uh, Xbox, select. And then I can say settings. Settings. Xbox, select. Settings. Resume settings. Yes. So I can go in here and do this stuff. Uh, uh, Xbox, go home. Um, and then if I want, I just hit the menu button on the controller, and I can just go to quit. That gets rid of that. Um, so let's let's try another one. Uh, Xbox, Xbox, shortcuts. That's not what I wanted. I didn't say more shortcuts. Xbox. More shortcuts. So I've got communication, I've got sign in and profile, notification, and uh, video. I don't know why it's not showing everything. Oh, yeah, I guess I can scan down. Durr. Um, so gaming, I can say, the, I can say all of these things, and they should work. No. Say what you're searching for? No, I didn't say anything. Yeah, I know you didn't catch that. <laughs> Spark. So this is the, the voice search. There's a bunch of stuff here. Um, thanks for looking for that, but that's not what I wanted. So it's a little sensitive sometimes. Sometimes it's, it does the wrong thing. Um, so quit. I wish I could turn the, I wish I could turn the connect off, but anyway, um, let's say Xbox, my games and apps. No, Xbox select my games and apps. So I got a few things here. Um, I can choose any of these things, if I say the name, I didn't say achievements, 
I didn't say achievements. Go back. Xbox, go back. Um, let's, okay, well, let's just, so there's achievements. So there's achievements, settings, I can go to the games, there's up, I can go to upload so I can, you know, take my recorded stuff and do that. Uh, Internet Explorer, who would want to use that? Game DVR, all that fun stuff, so, um, that's under your games and apps. Um, when then when you hit, uh, B... Uh, or go back, whatever, it'll just go to the home menu when you're in an app like that. Uh, hit menu on your controller and quit if you want to get rid of it completely. So it's not in the background. Um, Xbox Snap 2 Dead Rising. See, that's not going to work. Um, I think I have to be in an app for it to snap to it. And then you have you know, the store over here, so you can go to games, TV, movies, and TV, music, and then different apps and stuff, so, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a few things that you can check out, so that's the user interface, I get a little lost sometimes in it, um, because sometimes they get a little confusing, um, I don't want to go through everything because there's no real point, um, as you can see, it's a tiled interface, um, and it's logged into my main account for some reason. Alright, so it switched me to my other account. I didn't want to be logged into that. This is just for recording purposes, this account here. So um, the voice commands are kind of messing me up a little bit here. Like for some reason, it switched me back to my other account for some reason. I don't know. Uh, the voice commands are messing things up. So it's annoying. Um, for the purposes of this video. So, um, you have Sky, Skydive, that's the cloud service, TV, Skype, Xbox Video, and Xbox Music. Uh, you can change your profile and settings and stuff through this. Uh, and then the store and settings and avatars and all that stuff is here. Um, this is where you can pin stuff. You can pin apps here. So if you're ever in an app, you can pin to menu, and it'll pin it to this stuff. Uh, and then store. Um, I wonder if I can go to the store and not have it mess up. Yeah, so yeah, your games, movies and TV, music and apps. Um, this is a little bit better um, than it used to be on 360, from what I remember anyway. And here's what we have for a selection so far and you can actually use code or search for games this way too so bunch of different stuff on here xbox fitness stop listening see it just it tries to mess me up every once in a while uh, xbox go home xbox stop listening Right. So that's about it. Like it's there's not much to it. You got your pins over there, your home screen, and your store. So not much to it. So yeah, um, I I'm not finding it as easy to navigate this stuff. At, and then it switches me back to my account again. Like I don't understand why it's doing that. I'm logged in as someone else right now. See, I don't understand why it's messing around with my profiles when I'm obviously not logged in as that person. That's that's just one thing I don't like. It's for some reason it's just logging me in randomly to another user. Stop that. Like that is stupid. So that it's just bothering me a little bit. Like I'm I could just disconnect my connect. Um, that would get rid of the voice command stuff because it's getting a bit annoying sometimes, especially when I'm doing stuff like this where I'm talking. But whatever. Anyway. Um, 
Yeah, that's about it. That's all I want to show you for the uh, the interface user interface for the Xbox One. Okay, it didn't activate. I thought it was going to activate. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, uh, that's, I'm not sure if I really like it that much or not. Like, I mean, it's it's fine and it's quick and it responds, but sometimes it responds in the wrong way, and sometimes it's hard to navigate a little bit. So it gets a little confusing here and there. Um, especially when you're making a new profile, uh, it requires an email address to make a new profile, so you can't just make some offline account um, like you used to be able to on Xbox 360. Um, and I don't know, some of the profile menus are a little weird. And you just, it's hard to find exactly what you're looking for. Like for me to find certain things, it just took forever. So um, yeah, so I don't know. It's it's hard for me to say. Like it it's okay, it, it works enough so that I can play games. That's all I care about. Anyway, um, that is my initial impressions for the Xbox One uh, user interface. Next up, I'm going to play some games. So expect some initial impressions videos for Dead Rising, Rise, as well as Forza. Um, oh, another thing I could show you is. Um, and I'll show it in the Forza video is how long a game takes to install because I haven't installed Forza yet so we will take a look at how long it takes for a game to install in that video. Um, I've d I did it with Dead Rising uh, and Rise where I, I you know I obviously watched and stuff. Dead Rising wouldn't play until it was pretty much fully installed, um, and Rise would let you go into the menu at three percent, but you couldn't do anything like you could tweak stuff. Um, I, I like it wouldn't let me go into the single player portion, so that was a little annoying. Um, anyway, we'll worry about that stuff when I put some games in. So uh, until next time, thank you for watching the video. Please hit that like and subscribe button, share the video, and we'll see you again next time. Your face armor,